they see club.com, the world's number one party site and the South Asian media source. Community, Culture Features, 2004 ABCDs and the Arranged Marriage By Pauline Arneja This is something that has been discussed and addressed countless times, but we promise you, you've never heard it put the way Pauline does here. Are you ready to accept the truth? Short, fat, pimply, dark, homely 25-year-old Punjabi boy with American citizenship seeks hot, tall, slim, sexy doctor or engineer who can cook, clean, and so must be owning properties in India and willing to live with my family in Queens, New York. What is it about this so-called concept of arranged marriages that American-born Thaisis are constantly being coerced to consider and even give into? And why are some ABCDs actually being brainwashed by society into thinking that this is a good way to consummate a marriage? It's amazing actually. An arranged marriage defies everything an American Thaisi stands for, yet every day, another one bites the bullet. What is an arranged marriage? A dictionary definition might say, a marriage where the groom and bride are chosen by their families based on requirements rather than a mutual love or attraction. But what do words mean? Nothing. I'll tell you the real definition of an arranged marriage. Arranged marriage, a binding agreement between two families that is recognized and approved of by society in which 1. A man is able to obtain a maid who can cook, clean, and satisfy his sexual needs. 2. A woman is able to rid herself of the black stigma society gives her when she is without a man. A woman is now allowed to have her freedom within the confines of her marriage. 3. A family is able to possibly attain things such as greater wealth, respect, status, or business partnerships. I'm sure your eyebrows are raised in skepticism by now, but if you don't believe me, go look at any Indian classified ad. People aren't even subtle about it anymore. They straight up sell their children for material goods. Marriage isn't a marriage in this case, it's an exchange of wealth for your soul. So is an arranged marriage a bad thing? No, not necessarily. I think that in certain places such as India where society has strict rules that the population is expected to live by, arranged marriage is the norm and should be followed. My question is why the heck do we have arranged marriages taking place in the United States? Why are kids who are born and raised in America having arranged marriages? It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. An American Thaisi is born here, raised here, and lives in the American society. This Indian American goes out and makes friends, he embraces the culture and does what all other Americans do. He goes clubbing, he bar hops, he dates, and he's probably even sexually active. Hey, it's the American way of life, don't deny it. Why is he doing all of this? What motivates him to go out and spend so much time and effort on a Friday night? Love, attraction, and sexuality. These are the three basic things that everybody in society is after. Why do we go after these things? To ultimately find a person that we love so we can hopefully get married to them. In American society, marriage is when a man and woman who have strong feelings of love, trust, understanding, and friendship find each other and decide they want to share the rest of their lives together. In this definition of marriage, there is no checklist of requirements outside of human emotions. The only prerequisite is love. What a hypocrisy it is, this concept of arranged marriages in America. The ABCD is raised American goes out of his way to be American, and then suddenly at the age of 25 turns into an Indian from an ancient village? Why does he go out and date? Why does he try to find someone he's attracted to? What is the point of doing this when you are going to settle for someone you don't even know? Why not just sit at home until you turn 26 and then let your parents marry you off? It's how it works in the villages, why immerse yourself in American culture anyway? What about the modified, arranged marriages you ask? code swap I say. Modified my ass. Here's a common argument heard among Thaisis. Oh, arranged marriages nowadays aren't like the old-fashioned ones. My parents introduced me to someone and we are allowed to date or get to know each other before we decide. Why is that theory full of rubbish? Let me state thy ways. If you think, for even a moment, that when your parents introduce you to someone, you can actually date them for the required amount of time it takes to actually get to know someone, and then dump them, because they're not right for you, you've got another thing coming buddy. How long do we normally date someone before we really know they are the right person to spend the rest of our lives with? For some it may take only a moment, but on average people can date anywhere from 6 months to 2 years, or even longer, before they decide that someone is right for them. If you go on more than 3 dates with someone a parent has introduced to you, 
the parents are going to start seeing wedding bells and it's going to be extremely embarrassing for both families when you decide to dump the other person. And while that's happening, you'll also probably be marked with a bad reputation. Aren't arranged marriages just great? What is it with Indian parents thinking that we ABCDs are okay with picking spouses as if we were going grocery shopping? We're not picking onions and potatoes people, we are trying to find life partners to share our lives with. Who cares if they have three farms in India or if they have a green card? Have some dignity and choose someone that you love, not someone who meets standard requirements. When are you going to get married? You are getting so old you won't be able to find a husband. Why haven't you found anyone yet? All of your friends have boyfriends, why can't you find someone to marry to? I know this great boy from India who is an engineer let me introduce you to him. How many times does a single woman or man have to hear questions like these? What is with this narrow-minded mentality about a woman not being able to live a life as a single entity? Stop harassing, stop questioning, and stop trying to force some poor girl to spend the rest of her life with some yahoo she's only met twice. And for God's sake she was born and raised in America, quit trying to get her married to someone who was born and raised in India. They have nothing in common. If you can't find someone to love and marry, do you have to resort to just getting anyone? because it's better to be married to a clown than to be alone? Why do people think marriage and finding a man is so easy? Do you think you can just pick a marriage partner the way you pick up soap at Target? Is it that easy to fall in love and find someone you want to share the rest of your life with? To find someone who you can joke with, make love to, and raise your children with? You can't pick up some random person you've known for three days and make a married life with them. That's like going to roommates.com and picking a life partner. It's ridiculous. Marriage is not a social arrangement. Marriage is not a business deal. Marriage is the union of two old souls who have finally found each other after an eternity. If you don't find someone you trust and love with your life, then keep searching, and never settle for an arranged marriage. If you want to have an arranged marriage, go back and live in here per India where women are still considered second-class citizens, and socializing with the opposite sex is forbidden. If you want an arranged marriage, then live the life that leads to an arranged marriage. Why are you being American in any way at all?